June 6th, 1995. still in school at the time, but I'll never forget the images I saw on the news that day. The Belkins set off seven nuclear explosions on their own soil. Maybe their old militaristic leaders couldn't stand the idea of allied forces invading their land, and declared to the world that the land to the north was the holy land of Belka. According to official records, more than 12,000 people died. It was a grand self-sacrifice that engulfed all. The only thing remaining was the desolate landscape. How did the people of Belka feel about what they saw? And what did he think of it when he looked down on it from the sky? We have discovered remaining enemy troops gathered in the Yering Mine area, in northwest Belka. Numerous divisions of the Belkan army refuse to accept the change in government, and are disobeying the command to disband. Your mission is to clear out the remaining Belkan troops, and if the reports are accurate, there are still plenty of them. The Higher Lark base, located in Ocean territory, has been arranged for your refueling. If your tank is low, go there and they'll help you out. To compensate for the losses in Galm Team, Pro Team will be joining you. We're counting on your best performance yet.
Roger. XMAA firing sequence initiated. So, Velka still has an organized platoon.
enemy threat level has dropped off even more. GOM-1, missile launched. Don't panic, just keep working. The mission to clear out remaining Belkin resistance was a success. As to the intended purpose for using the giant hangar described in the report, rest assured that intelligence is looking into the matter. Thank <laughs> you. 